Marketing is getting your product or service out in the world and also making sure that it satisfies your customers. So today I'm going to be talking about the five P's of marketing. And this is product, price, people, promotion, and place. So all these work together to form your target market. And this is the group of potential customers that you are going to sell your product or service to. So first, um, product, they basically have this as one of the five P's because it's essential for a business to have a product or service. This is what a business is. And um, so its appearance has to be what you have to determine for your target audience. So also with quality and packaging, it all just depends on your target audience. So if you are targeting um, people of higher class, then you want to make sure that the packaging is fancy or the appearance is very, very pretty, um, quality higher up. Um, this also has to determine your pricing, which I'll talk about later. So Kleenex, as you can see, its appearance, um, it's a fruit and this is very summery. It's uplifting and it gives an overall happy tone to it. Um, this is better than your average boring Kleenex box just because it looks fancier and this might get people um, to purchase it. So for price, um, discounts are very, very important, um, especially with a new business. People love um, not spending as much money as they are um, supposed to. And so it all kind of has to, de to determine in your current marketplace. So um, let's say you're selling an electric toothbrush. You might want to sell this at a higher price just because it's fancier, it's more um, new, and uh, it kind of has to do with competition too. So um, if your competitors are at a higher price with an electric toothbrush, you might want to go lower just because um, this could attract potential customers that do not want to pay as much um, as they would. And so payment arrangements can be made, um, different deals and all that. It all determines on how you want to run your own business. So for promotion, um, advertising, public relations, media, sponsorships, and messages. So social media has become so, so big in the business world, um, whether Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you see so many different ads throughout these um, websites. And this is why it's very important to get your product out there and on the media. Um, and also like KitKat, um, when you're watching TV or even on the radio, if you're listening and you hear, have a break, have a KitKat, it'll stick with you. And these certain messages that businesses do, they do it on purpose and it's very, very intelligent of them to do because when you do think of this catchphrase, it could be at random times or when you're watching the TV or listening to the radio. And um, when this does stick with you, then you're more likely to buy that product. And so for advertising, um, this kind of has to do with place too. Um, you wanna promote your product in a place where um, it's gonna do well in. So for place, um, the location. So let's say you are selling like neck pillows and you would wanna do this either at airports or you wanna do this um, off of highways just because that's where people are traveling the most. And um, also this is um, like highways they often have food chains on the side at exits. And um, these food chains usually do very, very well because um, people, when they're traveling, they get hungry or even at airports as well. When they're traveling, um, they want food and they're just hungry. So you want to make sure that your place matches up with where your product is going. So right time, right place and in the right quantity. So you have to make sure that um, everything just aligns up. Like a lot of Starbucks, they go in higher um area so maybe in the city or just um somewhere where a lot of people travel so they know that um they know that their customers are going to be coming there so for people um this is the service provided attitude customer service and appearance so when i talk about people it's the staff and the customers so there should be staff training and um basically how they should treat each other, customers, um, their boss or managers, and um, they should be very, very friendly towards their customers and um, 
with your customers. You have to form relationships with them. This is so key to having a good business is getting loyal customers and they will always um, help distribute your product. Um, They'll tell other people and you know that you will always have a backbone. So these are the five pieces of marketing and I hope that you enjoyed the lesson.